Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Ring Edge, the local storage solution available on the new Ring Alarm Pro, right after the intro. A quick reminder folks, remember to hit that thumbs up, it helps others find quality content and allows us to continue to make videos like this for you. Click on subscribe and then hit the bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. Okay, so let's get right into it. Ring Edge gives you the ability to store and process video locally instead of relying on the cloud each time your cameras are activated. This provides some benefits and some drawbacks the way Ring has it implemented currently. On the plus side, your footage is stored locally so you have control over it. Another plus is that even if you lose your internet connection, the footage is still captured from your cameras. There are two drawbacks to this system currently. One is that you can choose only local or cloud storage. There is no hybrid solution that stores a backup of your local data in the cloud. Another drawback is that you can only use Ring Edge with the most expensive Ring monthly plan, which is currently $20 per month or $200 per year. I will post a link in the description where you can find out more information about Ring Edge including certified micro SD cards. On the back of our Ring Alarm Pro base station, next to the power port, we have a micro SD slot for Ring Edge. We purchased the Samsung Evo Select 512GB micro SD card listed on the Ring website as certified to work with Ring Edge. We will insert the micro SD card now and then move to the app to complete the setup and see how it works. Okay everyone, so we're going to launch the Ring app. I have the micro SD card inserted into the alarm base. We're going to go into our base station. We're going to tap on the video storage with the little memory card. And this is where we activate Ring Edge. And it'll give you some information about what's required. You do have to link your Amazon account in order for this to work. Now it's going to activate the feature. Now we're going to select the devices that we want to enable Ring Edge local storage and processing for. By default, all of our cameras will be selected. And we'll need to format our micro SD card. And as you can see, my micro SD card is 512 gigabyte, and it's currently using 5%. The last portion here, you can see when I switched over to Ring Edge, now all of my motion events show local storage underneath. So I can clearly see that that footage is stored locally. That's all there is to it. Well, that's going to wrap this one up. Folks, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps others find quality content on YouTube, and we really appreciate it. Click on subscribe, and then click the bell to get notified anytime new content is added. As always, comments, questions, and suggestions are welcome below, and we thank you very much for watching.